Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today I am back with another very very interesting topic that is Pisces. So let us begin first with the general characters of Pisces. As mentioned students, Pisces are nothing but fishes. And obviously we all know that fishes are all aquatic. Students, we all know that fishes have a very nice streamlined body and they also have fins for locomotion. You can very nicely see the streamlined body in the given image. It means that the body is tapering towards both the ends which makes it very easy for the fish to swim underwater. Moving on students, they have gills obviously which are used for respiration and the heart is two chambered. The two chambers are the upper chamber being the auricle and the lower chamber being the ventricle. Moving on students, they are all cold blooded animals meaning poikilothermic which means that they are not able to control or keep a constant body temperature and it changes with the surrounding environment. Moving on students, their skin is covered with scales or plates. And these scale students are very very big and they are very very tough. For example, there are bony fish like Rohu. Scientific name is Labio Roheta. And there are also certain cartilaginous fish like shark. Moving on students, all of the fish having very few exceptions lay eggs. And students, it may surprise you that these eggs are actually a very very expensive delicacy called as caviar. Moving on students, there are the classes under fish called as class chondrichthys and class ostichthys. Let us first begin with the class chondrichthys. Students, let us break down the word chondrich and ichthys. Here the word chondron means cartilage and the word ichthys means fish. So basically this is another word for cartilaginous fish. Let us see a few characters of cartilaginous fish. They have jaws and paired appendages. And students, as these are fishes, the appendages will be nothing but fins. Students, they have a very well developed electroreceptive system. In which students, the best example are sharks. It may surprise you that sharks are very sensitive to the slightest changes in electricity in the water. Moving on students, they have a cartilaginous endoskeleton which is very self-explanatory in the name itself. And finally, they do not have a swim bladder. It is also called as an air bladder. Now students, what exactly is a swim bladder? It is this small organ which is present in the abdomen of fishes which can inflate as well as deflate which can control the depth of the fish in the water. This is the reason students, chondrichthys like sharks will always keep moving because if they stop, they will start sinking down and this is because they do not have a swim bladder. Students, their skin is very rough with very very tiny placoid scales. Moving on students, a good example of chondrichthys as mentioned before are sharks like scoliodon and certain type of rays like electric ray, string ray, etc. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.